I think it's hard to see God working. I think that you're just kind of so caught up in the emotions of what's happening um, that you kind of forget to look for signs that God is working. We found out that I was pregnant probably in August of 2013. We learned that that, pregnant was, that pregnancy wasn't viable. Um, and it was September 23rd, 2013 when I lost that baby. And so that kind of put me into this, you know, funk. this funk. It was like a lack of trust. Like, I didn't understand why I was given the desire to be a mother, yet had my first chance taken away from me. I had no idea how my trust was going to be tested that year. So shortly after, I found out that I was pregnant again. Um, and so I thought I lost that pregnancy on multiple occasions. I would have myself convinced that that baby was no longer with me and I'd go into the doctor and just break down every time I heard her heartbeat. I'd always had a lump in my left breast um, and it had been diagnosed when I was about 25 as just nothing to worry about. And so, you know, I wasn't too worried about it until it started growing during my pregnancy. I got a phone call on June 20th of 2014 saying that I had breast cancer um, and I was 27 weeks pregnant. Well, losing a baby already, um, I didn't want to take any chances with this one and just having to was really hard. Yeah. So. You know, kind of after all the tears and emotion had kind of subsided, as every man does, we try to put a plan together that we think we can fix everything. How do I get from A to B to C? And and um, and so that's what I did. I started trying to make phone calls and figure out how you know who's the best doctor and whatnot. God already had a plan lined up for us, and um, you know many of the doctors that we ended up getting came from the Connect Group and the people we knew in there. And so we had two really great friends come out of that um, Connect group um, who we didn't meet but a year before. Less than a year before. Yeah, less than a year before. Um, one of them, she was actually starting her fellowship that summer with my preferred breast surgeon. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, that's, that's definitely an act of God putting her in my life at the time that he did. So surgery day is a day I'll probably never forget. It was just kind of a, this is really happening. And it was kind of chaotic too, just because there was two, every, two of every doctor. Um, I mean, there was an anesthesiologist for you, there was an anesthesiologist for the baby, and it was just um, a lot going on and a lot to think about. Um, just a, a very humbling experience, but um, a scary experience. When the surgery was successful, um, they removed the tumor, you had um, clear margins all around, um, the baby stayed inside Jennifer. We had follow-up appointments after surgery and approximately two and a half months later our baby girl was born on September 24th, which was exactly one year after uh, we lost the first one. We have this beautiful 16-month-old girl who's just <laughs> running around crazy and um, we couldn't be happier with her. Um, I look at her every day and I just think of the story that she's going to have to tell at her birth and about what her mom went through and about what she went through. Um, so, and it's just, it's pretty amazing. You may be going through a time period that um, you never wanted to go through. I never wanted to have breast cancer. I never wanted to have breast cancer during a pregnancy, but just kind of keep that faith that you're, you're going through this, but he has already gone through it.